is immortal. One who searches for something out of reach, beyond control. Who do you serve, I wonder? You know about me. I turn my eye to the human world when I choose. I'm Sargon. I serve Persia as one of the Immortals. Immortals, you say? Hmm. Interesting. Well, Immortal, you stand before a true Immortal. Kahiva, goddess and blacksmith to the gods. I forged their greatest weapons. Have you forged weapons for mortals? I've served mortals from time to time. King Darius' sword was some of my finest work. Few other mortals are worthy. I had no idea that in Mount Calf, gods and goddesses walked among humans. It was so. The curse altered everything. Some gods disappeared into other strands of death, but I remain. I'm one of the lucky ones. My forge protected me from the winds of time. Either way, nothing feels the same now. Would you forge for a mortal again? For a few time crystals, we might come to an agreement. Understand this, even in the skewed reach of time, a mortal's life is insignificant. Welcome. Do you wish something forged? I doubt a mortal has seen such a forge as mine. I have not. But my blades, Kais and Layla, have never failed me. Over flame and heat, this forge channels my Athra. Such an energy is what shapes the strongest of weapons. Believe me, mortal, when I say the forge speaks to me. My forge senses the glow of Athra within everything. It tells me of an awe with ancient power that calls out. Will you find it? During the shattering, things were lost, while others were unearthed. We shall see if such power wants to be found. If you are worthy, then perhaps your map will aid you. Have you found...
Hi, Sargon. Sargon? Lend me your Eye of the Wanderer. I'll add the information I've gleaned about this area.
You did tell me you found a path to Prince Hassan and Anahita. No. Have you? It's only the most abominable creatures lurk in the darkest reaches. I do my best work in the shadows, and Hassan is not here. Don't take unnecessary risks. Thanks for the warning, Rajin. Thank <laughs> you.